Agreers, disagreers, all my charm walks out there, welcome back to Agree to Disagree, and this is my review for the Season 3 mid-season premiere of Arrow titled Left Behind, and this is the hugely anticipated mid-season premiere following that finale. If you saw that finale, you know what happened. How do they continue from that? That was insane, uh, and they handled it perfectly. This was a great episode, and I'm going to go ahead and spoil it right now. Oliver really wasn't in the episode too much. It was really everyone else, Felicity, Diggle, Laurel. Um, we, saw, we saw them get put on the forefront here, and it was fantastic. Uh, Felicity was amazing. Diggle was great. Uh, we saw the, uh, the Adam. We saw him get a few scenes that were really, really powerful. It was a very somber, a very dark and calm episode we saw the introduction of brick uh who as of right now seems pretty unintimidating but and we really see how with oliver being gone how that affects everyone else and with the thought of him being gone for good yeah, how everyone's affected by this and and diggle tries to step in and we see how that really isn't good <laughs> how that really isn't the way to go, and Felicity says that, and it, it's great. It, it makes for a very interesting dynamic. I, I love where this left off. Uh, what a great premiere. It really helped to set things up for the rest of the season. I'm already looking for Oliver to get his revenge on Ra's al Ghul. By the way, Oliver, end of the episode. La Lazarus Pit, maybe? Uh, that's what I'm assuming, right? Uh, they said, bring him back. Um... Which means he he was dead. So I'm assuming Lazarus Pit. That would be going far for Arrow. Uh, they, they like to keep it very separate, Flash and Arrow, except for the crossovers. Well, even with the crossovers, it's still kind of... It, it's interesting how they play it. Arrow doesn't like to, to cross into that realm of that supernatural type stuff, whereas Flash does. It will be interesting to see if they bring the Lazarus Pit into this, and I think they're going to. So if that's the case, that's really interesting. I remember um, Ra's al Ghul said something along the lines of this the most interesting fight I've had in the past 60 years or something, in 60 years, something like that, which, which would make you think the Lazarus Pit is here and he's using it. And it, yeah, it's just an interesting kind of thought to see where, the, where they're going to go with this uh, and the possible inclusion of the, the Lazarus Pit. It's definitely interesting. And I'm looking forward to seeing where that goes. Adam is getting his own thing. Black Canary, Laurel now, getting her own kind of thing. We see her kind of step up towards the end. And it's interesting. We're seeing a lot of people starting to step up. Even Thea, uh, I'm, I, keep, I keep throwing it out there. Uh, Chesh, uh, Cheshire, I, I see that coming. Or Chesh, Cheshire, I, I have no idea. I didn't read the comics. <laughs> but I, I see that coming. I, I definitely see that coming. Uh, a lot of people are starting to step up here. And there's so many different factors going into this. And this season is more interesting than the last one, I would say, just because of how many different layers we have going on right now. They're juggling a lot, and it's all working, in my opinion, right now. So what a great premiere, I, I feel, to help set up the rest of the season. So that's all I'm going to say for this week's episode of Arrow. Let me know what you guys thought of the premiere. And subscribe if you have not, because it takes around that much effort to do so. And let's see if we can agree to disagree.